Passivation can be defined as the finishing process to prevent corrosion by created chemical reaction to build spontaneous oxidation to protective material. Passivation used regularly on significantly different operations and procedures connected with stainless metal. Then in polarization curve diagram. Firstly, in active region the metal specimen corrodes as the applied potential is made more positive. Secondly, in passive region, a further increase in potential provokes a decreasing in current density signaling the start of passivation process. Lastly in transpassive region, the current reached the value IP, maintained up to the potential EP, the passive layer starts to dissolve and the transpassive region begins. Passivation is a process in which a barrier layer develops on a metal surface. A thin layer of oxide occurs on the newly exposed surface at first. The freshly formed oxide layer blocks any type of reaction, since there are no moving electrons accessible, converting it from an active to an inactive state. As a result, the current will exhibit a downward trend. Breakdown is the second stage of passivation formation. After a constant supply of electric potential, breaking occurs on the initial oxide layer, exposing a new fresh surface to the electrolyte and allowing electron flow. As a result, the current will increase again. For the third part of passivation formation is repassivation, which is the process of repeating the passivation process. The newly exposed surface will react with the electrolyte and generate a new oxide layer in this section which is known as the second oxide layer. This layer will again obstruct all electron transport, causing the current to drop. The passivation process comes to an end when the oxide layer has completely covered the material. Passivation will not occur again under this condition, even if the voltage continues to rise. This is due to the oxygen evolution that takes place. The passivation process involves two steps. The first step is cleaning, which involves removing the contamination. After that, the second step involved immersion of metal part in a passivating bath. The bath coats the surface of a metal object with a microcoating that protects it against oxidation. Because iron is a precursor to corrosion when exposed to oxygen, nitric oxide will practically dissolve the iron on the surface of the metal part or component. Iron will be removed from the metal part surface by immersing it in a passivating solution containing nitric oxide. Although the nitric oxide still contains iron deeper within its structure, this iron will not be immediately exposed to the environment, preventing corrosion of the metal part. The passivation layer formation can be understood by reviewing the anodic polarization curve. Under an applied voltage, anodic polarization curves are created by measuring the net current from an electrode into solution, corrosion current. The coating significantly reduces the rate of metal ions diffusing from the electrode to the solid gas or solid liquid interface, resulting in corrosion resistance. The pH of the solution has an effect on the critical current density. In the so-called active area of passive metals, the current increases continuously with increasing voltage until the passivating layer develops, at which time the current rapidly decreases but subsequently increases in anodic potential. Oxygen evolution is responsible for the later growth in anodic potential. Metals that are prone to passivation will exhibit this behavior.